What is up, Indies and fans? Today, we're playing Dead Cells. This is my favorite roguelite of all time. It was also my first one, so it's kind of a biased opinion, but I love it. It is from the French development company Motion Twin, and subsequently later on, Evil Empire. But what they created is a fast-paced hack-and-slash game with so many intricate systems at play, a very deep lore and story that you uncover through lore rooms and also loading screens and just also the DLC and it makes this big world that is full of options and creativity and a ton of death. So they have released the end is near update which is pretty much the last update which has added you know a plethora of goodies some costumes weapons enemy types a new curse system and so today we're going to jump in and we are going to have a hell of a good time checking out everything that we can find in this new update with that i say let's go we're going to continue in my game and just keep running from there so we have some options to play with here's my boy Gonna pick up my capital. Oh, look at him. I'm not again. He's never against backtracking. Thank you, Alucard. As you can see, we have a ton of things unlocked, and I still have a lot more to go. Now, I have put my game today on one boss cell just so we can make sure that I keep going because I am good at the game, but I make a lot of bad choices. So we, we, we got to make sure that, you know, I stay up to date. All right, so let's go to my costumes here. Let's see what we got. I think you can change your head color now. Yep, there it is. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. You never let me do anything anyway. And oh, a newcomer. Nice to meet you. I'm the tailor's daughter. I myself am studying to become a hairdresser. I was studying before all- oh, I mess up. I was studying before all my teachers died, at least. Yeah, let's talk about that. Who has to take care of his daughter when the school is closed, huh? The education system of this island is not what it once was. This island ain't a lot of what it once was. Alright, so, yep, yep. Let's do it. Oh, I got some- oh, that's a new weapon. Sewing scissors. An attack that kills an enemy. Also kills every other target hit at the same time. Hell yeah. Victims slow down when they die. I like this. Oh, oh, it's huge. Look at that. All right, you. Let's talk. Oh, hell yeah. You can just pick your head. All right. So today. Dude, that's really cool. I'm still a fan of the Bobby, though. It's the classic head. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. The violet hole. Yeah, let's, let's be the bobby head. And I'm going to keep my costume because I like it. All right. We're out of here, though. So if you did not know, the lore of Dead Cells is you as the prisoner, the beheaded. You are actually the king of this entire place. And this is all your fault. But you stumble around like a buffoon, murdering everybody, even though you brought this plague upon the kingdom. And so as you go through the DLCs, you get to see more of what the kingdom once was and what it's turned into. So every biome that we go through used to be a thriving city of citizens, people, stories, shops, everything. And now it's degraded into a mutated hellscape. And it's all this guy's fault. And then as you get to the Queen of the Damned DLC, she lets you know, hey, we tried to stop you and we still have to stop you because this infection must stay on this island. It's it's dope, it's so dope. Okay, so we're gonna head in. I'm gonna keep these skizzers. And, oh, 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 look at these options though. All right, so we got skizzers. Oh, but we got flame breath and the owl. I got green, but I can get my monster here. So what what this is, is I get to have a loadout. And this is something you unlock as you progress through the game to where you have two main weapons and two side weapons and a backpack to hold an extra item for later use if you want to try to strategize later down the road. I think for the sake of it, just because I want my boy and I don't mind taking these firebrands, we're going to take this one. I'm going to get rid of the scythe. I'm going to take these firebrands. I'm going to take my boy, because he's a leg hugger. Telerik Shock. And let's do it. And hello, friend. So this 
is someone you find in DLC, and as a buddy, he goes and eats everybody like a savage. And at some point, he goes Super Saiyan and just levels up. All right, so we gotta try to get the no kills. I don't think so. Oh, oh, it, it ignores shield even. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, we are we are making some money today. All right, so we're going to keep going. Oh. There we go. The scissors are quite slow, but the effect is good and they do some damage. Huh. I swear I just saw somebody. Alright, so we're at 20. Oh yeah, we're almost there. Alright, what do we got? What are my goodies? I don't want the dagger of profit. One of the nice things about going through the Dead Cells game on any run is the amount of branching pathways and each map is always procedurally generated i think they took the approach of making pre-fabricated rooms that it just kind of sorts through risk of rain 2 did the same thing oh it's worth the curse but what happens is is you get a ton of options for what you would like to do so like that curse store is something that you could pay money to open or you can do what I do and just break that shit down. Now, if I get hit at all, I die. And that number above my head is I have to kill 10 enemies without getting touched to, well, keep going. Once I kill 10 enemies, curse is lifted, back to being able to take hits. But there's also that chest I got. There's one in every biome, sometimes two, sometimes three. And they just give you goodies. that so right now we just want to stay alive all right only one enemy left and then i am free as a bird It'll be right here i get it and then of course curse free one of the biggest things in dead cells are the scrolls in Dead Cells, you have three categories of which case, or of which you are allowed to allocate these scrolls. And each of these offers a kind of different type of gameplay, but it's really a different type of weapon. And you can take as many scrolls as you can find. So you could do 20 red, 20 purple, 20 green. However, the smart move is to put all of them in one category and just stick with that color because that's how you do it because each time you do it it gives you more hp it ups your damage with that grade of weapon and it just offers a way for you to kind of dare you know differ up your styles now i'm already on this green track so i think i'm going to do a green run today i am normally a brutality man i like just cutting down people but i'm going to do some survival and i'm probably not going to get far with that but Oh man, do I want to do survival? I like I like my mushroom boy, but you know what? You know what? You know what? I am gonna do brutality, and I'll get rid of these scissors as I go through. I'm just I'm a sucker for the brutality. I don't really want to keep these scissors. And I won't. Alright. Keep going. Got now. You also have a shop that you are always going to encounter in these games, and you can also go fast. That little blinking arrow above my head is letting me know, hey, speed up. You have a speed boost. Oh, look at this scroll. It's time. Gonna keep it going. At some point, you'll find scrolls that have two colors on them. Those are nice. They help you uh, fill out the other scroll slots and get that little bo that little buff. And so you don't have to worry about that. So that's another reason. Just pick the same one. Oh, yeah. Look at these boys. And then this is the other portal we can go through. 
Dilapidated Arboretum. Probably said that wrong. All right, so we've almost got this full map uncovered. So you don't have to uncover the full map. I am doing this for the case of the video and of course, because dude, I love exploring the whole map. You gotta really explore, you gotta see it all. You never know what you're gonna find, even though it's the starting area, so it's not like it's full of amazing things, but it is full of just some goodies to start us out. I'm also a fan of the color palette of the prisoner's chambers. I think it is a very attractive palette. And so I enjoy my time here. And then we'll go ahead and upgrade. One nice thing as you progress through the game, everything is upgradable. Everything is salvageable. So if you don't want an item, that's fine. You don't have to leave it there. You can scrap it and get some capital. Toxic sewers. All right. So we are almost there. We're going to get to the outskirts. And then I think we're going to go to ramparts. All right. So yeah, we don't need anything in here. Do I want to go to Dracula's castle? Do a little bit of Castlevania gameplay? You know what? I don't, man. I don't. You know what? We are going to head over to the Promenade. You got to love the Promenade, dude. It's uh, just the background. And now we get to one of the biggest roguelite patterns is an in-between area between worlds to help you get funds. So if I would have beat that first stage in two minutes, like just got to a portal and just went... I could have got this door, but I got the 30 kills with no touchies, so therefore I get 20 souls, which are your unlock currency in this game, and I get to choose one of these three items for my life. God, the rapier's nice, and I like it, but I can also get this and get some downward attacks. So notice the affixes on everything. There's an affix for everything in this game. It's one of the things that makes each run diverse, and they really do matter. So if I take this amulet, which is just a relic, it's an always-on enhancer, I get one brutality scroll that's guaranteed to stay, as long as I have this amulet, five da minus 5% 5 damage received, so a little bit of a damage buff, and my downward attacks smash the, or burn the ground, so if when I do this, it'll now set the ground ablaze. I can only have one of these at a time, or I can have this rapier. It has 475 regular damage, 1080 critical damage, and because of my scrolls, it's 129% increase in damage. I know these numbers seem really just all over the place, but you'll notice the difference as you get into higher difficulties. So I inflict a critical hit after um, after a roll or parry. This is actually very fun for this weapon. 60% damage to a bleeding target. That's a good one. It's a good one. That's a good one. Um, I'm going to take it. I'm going to get rid of these skizzers. I think it's a good way to go. All right, so let's go down here. Let's use... This is the Collector. He's actually a gigantic final boss, but right now he's just an asshole who we keep paying souls to for him to give us stuff. So but he is... I know I'm just giving y'all spoilers all day, but game's been out a long time. The Collector is actually the real reason for the entire collapse of this island. You as the king may have got all of the bidding done, but the Collector is the one who started the bidding. All right, so we're gonna get my Simon outfit. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna get... I'm gonna actually start unlocking that cold death outfit. All right, now we can upgrade our weapons. Each weapon can be upgraded a few times, but as you progress through the game, you can just also make it to where weapons appear as a higher quality. And so here, I'm going to... I can only upgrade to S quality. S is the highest it goes. And for the moment, I'm not going to upgrade anything, because I'm probably going to get better stuff. But this is where we can finally put an affix, an overall affix, where it just stays. You can have three of these per game, and there's so many to choose from, and they stay with you. And you need to base it around the build that you plan on having. Now, I always have on No Mercy, which is execute mobs under 15% health, and effect have for bosses. Which means, when a boss gets to like 8% health, they just die. It's a great one to have. So we're gonna do it. Um, I didn't lose any health, so I can recycle that health vial for 3,000 gold, and I'm looking pretty stacked. All right, so now we're into the promenade. The charming countryside atmosphere of the forest is giving way to a less wholesome audience. 
So this was the prison yard, is really what this was. I don't have the assassin's dagger yet. Get out of here. Is there things still up here? As you can see, you have some wall runs in here. And you can use this to really scale. Really get yourself up in the air. But I think I already got what's up here, just because this is a fun secret to do. Dude, I didn't get that either? Jesus. Well, now I got it. All right, as you can tell, there's also no fall damage. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. God, the reach is so short. Oh, good. He's a shielder. I don't think so. Okay, no, 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 we're staying on our toes. We're doing good. We're going downtown. Oh God, I'm blowing it. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, oh, so many mistakes were made. There it is! Oh, good lord! Man, that was embarrassing. That... <laughs> was bad. Oh, god. Okay, let's do it again. We're just going straight at it. But first things first. I got a new outfit. I want to become Simon Belmont. Watch me work. Look at all these outfits. Look at all my stuff. Marie Renard. Oh, hell yeah. Look at me, dude. Uh, feeling saucy. That's pretty dope. Yeah, we're going to just stay as Simon. And it's time to head on in. See what we got here. Okay, whatever. I'll take an extra jump though. One, two, three. Oh, we get the pant and the frost blast. That's dope. Mm, got that cleaver though. I like that we get the king scepter. You know what, dude? We're going. It's not nunchaka. It's a vor pan. Frost blast. Death orb. Little vampirism. Dude, the frost blast is what's up. It's a kamehameha wave that freezes your enemies. Oh, nice! We're actually just getting rid of the Vorpan. So the Vorpan is a really fun item just because it's a fucking pan. But you only get critical damage if they are facing you. Whereas this, the Twin Daggers, give you a critical hit on every third strike. So it's a win. There we go. Kamehameha! Freezyha! We're going to keep that red love going. The nice thing about the Frost Blast is you don't actually have to upgrade it. It doesn't really get any benefit from continual damage. You really just want that status effect. All right, so this is just the extra room, which I don't need. All right, we're going to go for that two minutes. We're going to get back to the promenade. We're going to see if we can get 30 on the way. Look at this, little glowing on the ground, little bonus for me. All right, Mushroom Boy, come on in for deaths, for vampirism, come on out and play. Oh! That was terrible. There's another one right here. There we go. All right, now we're in business. In my scroll. Oh, a bow. Oh, that Gilded Yumi is really good. I should have actually probably kept that versus a Frost Blast. Oh, I gotta find an exit. No, we're, oh, we're just going in. Screw this. Man, I forgot how rusty I am at this. 
Sometimes you just gotta take big breaks when you play something, and I did. And it might- Oh, there's a problem now, I can do it! And it is showing, I should not be getting hit this much. Alright, whatever. We got the two minute timer. We're- We're, we're, we're doing good. Alright, let's get paid. More souls for my trouble. Oh, the tentacle! I don't like it that much, though. I guess I'll just take this then. Yeah, just give me that topaz amulet for the moment. All right, let's talk, collector. There we go. Cold death, feeling like death. Doing neither one of those, and we are actually gonna get freeze. We're gonna slow our enemies down. We're gonna get paid. All right, we have made it back to the promenade. And it is time to go again. All right, here's the good news. I get to do the wall run again, isn't that nice? Since I don't somehow have this unlocked. I know I started a new game not too long ago, but Jesus. Look at Simon climb, look at him. All right, now we got it. We're going through this time. All right, who wants some? Who wants to be my first victim? I'm getting real hungry. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, do you want some of this dog? I don't mind feeding you. Little tips. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you ain't protecting nobody. There we go. All right, that's everybody in there. Don't need that key up there. Downtown. Oh, the feather! I like the wings of the crow. We can do that with the frost blast and have a really good time. You know, let's do it. Oh, you can't handle the truth! Oh! Oh! Okay, that felt pretty good. I don't need you, elevator. I got the law of me on my side. Oh, and I hurt myself doing it, though. All right, let's um, get it into there. There we go. Yeah, oh, there's a little lore room up here. I need to go grab that really quick. Anything, anything? Oh, it's this room. Yeah, there ain't nothing in here. So you can actually turn lore rooms off. They give you a lot of options to do this with customization, but I still like the rooms. They add some flavor to it. Nice, killed the elite enemy for an assault shield. No, I'm just not a shield guy. I would like to be, because I know they're really good. All right, so if you look right here, this glowing orb, you have to kill all the enemies around it, and they have a little shield above their head to get a big prize, which today is a money shooter. I don't want that. I don't want to spend my money. Like, I know I'm not poor, but like, come on, man. Like, I don't want to spend my hard-earned dollars to just get a little bit of extra damage. Oh, no. I, uh. Yep, taking him down. Oh, that hurt. Ooh, Morass of the Banish right there, huh? But no, not yet. Not yet. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh no, we're doing this now. Oh, we're getting it. Getting that flow. You didn't think I was just gonna come out of the air, did you? But I did. I came in to say a happy birthday to you. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna get hit here soon. I can feel it. Okay, okay, okay! Alright, Prison Depths. I do love the prison. It has one of my favorite art styles in the game. I still think we're gonna go do the classic and go get some RAM parts in our life. Not today. All right, all right. So we're at 38 kills. I need to get to 60 to get my bonus. If I get there, I have no idea. I have no idea how many enemies are left in this area. But we're going to keep pressing on. We're going to do our best to find them. Oh, how the hell did I dodge that? Oh, so on as you go through boss cells, which are your difficulty modifier... Oh, God, Shh. darn it. You can go through these special doors, which offer bonuses. And in this case, my bonus was pain. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. And my bonus was a shop. Whatever. We got to drink some health. think so. There we go. Now I feel better. Well, since I came in here, might as well see what the shop man has to offer. What do you got for me? The king scepter. Oh, but also the pure nail. You know what? I haven't messed with that a lot. Hmm. No, I'm gonna get the nail. So one thing Motion Twin is a fan of are crossovers from Castlevania to so many indie games, including what I have here, the nail from Hollow Knight. And the King Scepter here, well, that's from Shovel Knight. All right, let's keep going. I got my nail, I'm feeling in charge. And another one. Oh, hell yeah, Serenade? Give me Serenade. I got the money, I got the capital. Another friend that can come out. And he's just gonna hang out with me and whoop some ass. He also likes to talk shit to you, which is really fun. I don't want to try it in. I'll take that Tesla coil, though. Hey, yeah, look at him, look at him whooping ass. I may have not gotten that, but I did get some damage. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Max speed. What do you got for me? Don't need any of it. Although that fire blast is really nice, but not as much as the freezy blast. All right, so I could have collected these rose keys to take me through here, and I could get some stuff up top, but I don't really care. Not for this run. We're good. We're gonna keep making sure everyone knows here that I am the boss. Oh, God damn it, how'd you hit me? And we made it. Uh, no, we're not gonna go there. We're gonna go to Ramparts. We're gonna take this up. And with that, it is game time.
All right. We didn't do well there at all. And so far, I have not even seen any of the new upgrades outside of those scissors, which are still pretty dope, and being able to change your head. So I got to see some of it. I'm going to keep doing this run. It, like, I love Dead Cells. I'm always excited to jump back in. I take breaks on purpose just to be able to come back feeling fresh. And it's a new day for it. So new, uh, new update, which means it's time to play again. So I definitely recommend you pick up Dead Cells. If you've never played it, it's definitely time, especially if you like roguelites or roguelikes. If you have played and you haven't checked out the new update, it's time. Hop back in. And of course, you know, like and subscribe. It, it always helps out. And I will catch you in the next one.